Hello and welcome to Interstellar Studies. Today we'll be looking at the swift planet, Mercury. Mercury is visible in the night sky, so it's safe to say we've known about this bad boy since forever, the caveman times. It wasn't until the 3rd millennium BC that the Sumerians showed up and they invented this cool thing called writing, and they called this bad boy Mamu after their craftsman god. And I'm sure that stuck around for a couple centuries maybe thousands of years, maybe hundreds, we just don't know. But what we do know is now it's called Mercury. So let's get into that. So I'd love to say there's like some super cool reason why we don't call the planet Mamu, like there were civil wars, there were shadow organizations, there were book burnings, lynchings, full scale genocides. No, the answer is far more lackluster. Basically the Romans saw that this planet had the shortest orbit, so it was pretty fast. And they were like, well, we have a fast God, that must be Mercury. And then because the Romans have much more cultural staying power, we call it Mercury now. Now on to the actual planet. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun at 58 million kilometers away. It is the smallest planet. Despite this, it actually is the second densest because of its presumed iron core, which is interesting because there's not a lot of iron found at the surface of Mercury. Instead, we find a lot of sulfur there. The surface of Mercury has a grayish color and is what we refer to as rocky or terrestrial. During the daytime, the surface can get as hot as 400 degrees Celsius, and during the nighttime, it can get as cold as negative 180 degrees Celsius. And due to the planet's weak atmosphere, it's unable to combat asteroids and meteors, so craters cover the surface. However, there is something far more interesting that strikes the surface of Mercury, so let's get into that. From time to time, the sun will shoot off solar flares, and as these solar flares reach Mercury, Mercury magnetic field pulls them inwards and they will spiral to create an electromagnetic tornado. These tornadoes will pull the solar flares downward until they hit the planet's surface where they knock up atoms so they can join the planet's exosphere. These tornadoes themselves are absolutely insane as they can last 5 minutes or 20 minutes. They can start on one side of the planet and they can end on the other and they can even be as big as the planet so they're no joke. Time on Mercury is also rather wild. It takes 59 Earth days to complete one rotation around its axis or to have a day. It takes 88 Earth days for a whole year. And it takes 176 Earth days to complete one day-night cycle. This means that it takes two years on Mercury to complete one day-night cycle. And during that time, each of those years would have only lasted a day and a half. With that all being said, that concludes this interstellar study and I hope you'll join me along for another one in the future.